This evening, we spoke with a family of 24-year-old Sean O'Hearn, a U.S. Army vet who survived two tours of duty in Iraq, only to lose his life along this dark stretch of road after jumping from a moving car and then being hit by a second vehicle. Now, as the family prepares to bury a son, they're desperate for answers about who was behind the wheel of the vehicle that hit their son and fled the scene. To serve the country, to serve you, whoever it was, and then not to honor him. It just ain't right. The father of the victim of Saturday night's hit and run crash, 24 year old Sean O'Hearn, a U.S. Army vet who served two tours in Iraq, is searching for answers. You know, accidents are accidents. We let someone to step forward just to find out what really happened. Police say Sean O'Hearn was riding in a car with two friends traveling northbound in the 9400 block of Gira Road when he jumped from the vehicle while it was traveling 50 to 55 miles per hour. A vehicle heading southbound struck O'Hearn and drove off. Police are asking for the public's help. They would also like to hear from the driver who was behind the vehicle that fled the scene. There was a second vehicle following the vehicle that hit our victim. Um, if somebody in that car has some information for us that might be helpful, we, we would very much like to talk to that person too. O'Hearn's family says knowing what happened five nights ago will provide some closure. But for 22-year-old brother Randy O'Hearn, answers can only go so far. At 22 years old, I would never imagine looking at it for a casket for my brother. I can't even see my brother before he goes in the ground. Now, Michigan State Police are awaiting autopsy results, but Sean's father tells me this evening he feels that his son may have been prompted to jump from that moving vehicle because of an argument that was taking place in the front seat of the car between the driver and her passenger. The father tells me that ever since his son re returned from Iraq, he had difficulty tolerating conflict or loud noises. Of course, there are still a lot of unanswered questions out here this evening as this investigation continues. If you have any information on the hit and run, you're asked to contact Michigan State Police at their Tri-Cities Post. We've got a number for you to call. That's 989-495-5557. Reporting live in Birch Run Township, Amy Hybels, NBC 25 News.